Madam President, I want to uh, finally speak today uh, regarding a, a bill that uh, I'm very pleased uh, has moved through this uh, Congress, and uh, that is, or I should say that we'll be moving shortly, and that is the Achieving a Better Life Experience or ABLE Act. This bill will assist individuals with disabilities by creating a mechanism to achieve long-term personal savings, something that individuals with disabilities are effectively prohibited from doing today under current law. The ABLE Act would create tax-favored savings accounts for people with disabilities that would not count toward the $2,000 individual asset limits that apply to the Supplemental Security Income and Medicaid programs. The ABLE Act will allow individuals with disabilities and their families to save money to pay for qualified disability expenses, such as education, a primary residence, transportation, and other personal support expenses. This legislation helps achieve a world where disabilities are no longer viewed as a limiting factor as individuals plan for jobs, for school, and for family life. It helps achieve a world where federal policies no longer impede individuals with disabilities from achieving their dreams. And it helps give parents peace of mind as they think about what the future holds for their children. I've met with many families on this issue, and one story in particular stands out. It's the story of Tim and Jamie Geals from Dakota Dunes. They have three sons, and their middle son, Tyler, is a concrete example of a young South Dakotan who will see tangible changes to his future as a result of the ABLE Act. The ABLE Act is one of the most far-reaching pieces of legislation to help individuals with disabilities in nearly 25 years, and I'm proud to be a co-sponsor. Long hours and intense effort shape this legislation into a package that helps Americans with, with disabilities and is fiscally responsible as well. I'm proud to support the ABLE Act as modified. I look forward to Senate passage of this very worthy legislation later this week as part of the tax extenders legislation.